Good day. I'm Dr. Dan Jones, past president of the American Heart Association and professor of medicine and physiology at the University of Mississippi Medical Center. Today with me is Dr. Bob Carey, who is the co-chair for the new ACC AHA blood pressure management guidelines. Dr. Carey is Dean Emeritus and Professor of Medicine at the University of Virginia. Dr. Carey, thank you for being with us today. My pleasure. So we're going to talk about blood pressure measurement. Uh, and I do think this is an area of the new blood pressure guidelines that will get a good bit of attention because there's been so much movement in the last few years in the area of blood pressure measurement. Can you just tell us briefly what the guidelines say about blood pressure measurement and perhaps uh, if uh, listeners want to find out more about blood pressure measurement, what they might anticipate to seeing about that. Well, I'd be delighted to do that, Dan. Um, we think blood pressure measurement is absolutely critical to um, the diagnosis of high blood pressure. Um, and there is a very uh, detailed chart in the guideline that goes through the specific environmental conditions and also uh, the actual method of measuring blood pressure in the office. And um, we feel that this is what starts the cascade of workup is to get an accurate blood pressure measurement. What are the different places that blood pressure can and should be measured? So blood pressure is almost always measured in the physician's office uh, and by, by clinicians. And um, so uh, that table that I was referring to mainly dealt with that. But blood pressure can also be measured um, at home, in the workplace, and uh, even continuously over a 24-hour period through uh, an automatic device. And we feel that these kinds of measurements are extremely important. So I've read some criticism of what the guidelines may say, even before people have had a chance to read them. There were people who expressed concern that uh, this guideline committee may reduce the definition, the, the blood pressure level for the definition of hypertension because of some recent studies that have used a different blood pressure measurement technology, uh, automated office blood pressure, and are concerned that this measures blood pressure too accurately. So would you like to respond to, to, to that and the influence of that new blood pressure approach, blood pressure measurement approach on the guidelines? Yes, so um, automatic um, blood pressure uh, in the office, AOBP, is becoming more and more accepted as a, an accurate method of measuring blood pressure. It's been very well accepted in Canada and is now coming to the United States. And um, this method of blood pressure tends to have lower blood pressure numbers than an office blood pressure measurement by a clinician. It's not completely studied, and we fell short of recommending AOBP as the definitive method of blood pressure measurement, but certainly it would be an acceptable method of blood pressure measurement in the office. And uh, recognizing, very importantly, that the levels would be somewhat lower. So because we can measure blood pressure both in the office and by several methods outside the office, uh, the issues of white coat hypertension uh, and uh, 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 the other, other types of hypertension that can be identified with the disparity between in and out of office blood pressures. Can you address what the guidelines may say about those? Yes, of course. Uh, so um, white coat hypertension is when your blood pressure is elevated in the office, uh, but uh, when you do either ambulatory blood pressure monitoring with an automatic device or home blood pressure monitoring, the blood pressures are normal. And so that's white coat hypertension, and the importance of it is that the risk of cardiovascular disease events from white coat hypertension is much lower than it is for sustained hypertension. 
And so we feel that it's important to identify white coat hypertension uh, to prevent unnecessary treatment uh, of patients with drugs in particular. And there's information there as well about mask hypertension, as, as I recall, uh, both uh, patients who have normal blood pressures in the office but have elevated blood pressures at, at home. And yes. readers can, can learn about uh, the recommendations for mask hypertension in the guidelines. Yes, and when to suspect that is when the blood pressure is elevated, 120 to 129, in the office. And there may or may not be target organ damage, but if there is, this would be a clue that mass hypertension may be present, and then you would screen with that with uh, ambulatory or home blood pressure monitoring. Bob, thank you for elucidating what the guidelines have to say about blood pressure measurement. My thank pleasure. You.